so uh, hello everyone before we start i would like to introduce myself uh, my name is viraj nipun sher and currently i am in my semester 4 of btech in ehtc from kj sumaya college my topic is applications of matrices in real life i have selected image processing as an example well matrices are widely used so before we start uh, let us take a scenario that is a space agency uh, has sent their rovers on mars uh, whose task is to take different pictures of terrains from different angles and different directions and send those high quality images back to planet earth uh, but high quality image means more storage space so in order to make those images publicly available those images must be scaled or compressed such that effect on quality is minimum but how do you do that so scientists found a way using matrices now let us uh, Uh, uh see before we do let us see a small uh, uh, uh history introduction about the matrices so uh, matrices were first mentioned in the book found near china which was written approximately around 200 bc where it was used to solve a simultaneous equation problem related to a corn field so but today matrices find its application in almost everything so this is what this video explains in more detailed manner so without any delay let's pro proceed ahead so what are matrices uh, they are more than just a group of numbers arranged in rows and columns they can do things on vectors by things i mean scaling and rotating operations on them let's say to understand this suppose uh, to understand this in more clear manner let us say that um, we have uh, a vector 1 1 and a matrix uh, 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 4 so when this matrix is multiplied with the, this vector then it can either scale or rotate or do both operations on this vector so here uh, after when the mul uh, this matrix is multiplied with vector 1 1 we got a scaled and rotated version which is 1 3 similarly different matrix can have different effects on vectors this process is obviously linear process uh, that is all vectors which lie on same line will get scaled and rotated or or both such that their op output vectors will again lie on the same line so let's say you have a vector multiple vectors lying along this blue line and let's say that uh, when they are multiplied with this particular matrix all of them will have different outputs it's obvious that uh, all of these vectors will have different outputs but what's common between them is that their output outputs will always lie along this along this red line so this is what i mean by the transformations are all linear so every matrix can have uh, next uh, next we proceed uh, uh, so the next property of matrix is that every matrix can have a eigen vector associated with it uh any vector which is just scaled by a particular matrix is simply called as an eigen vector of this matrix and value where the value by which it got scaled is called as the eigen value so uh, let's say you have a vector which is lying along this green line it got multiplied with this matrix and it got scaled only sc it got only scaled and not rotated and the scaled output vector is again lying along this green line but it got scaled by a value 2 so we say the eigen value is 2 So the first application of matrix is to solve simultaneous equations just as we discussed uh, in the history section right and the second application is in uh, image processing which we'll be uh, discussing uh, further ahead in the uh, in details uh, other than this matrix have many many more applications you can always google it if you are keen about it now uh, let's proceed ahead so now let's see A what digital are image digital when you look real close Okay so now let's see uh, what a digital image is made of every image which we capture by our digital camera which itself acts as an uh, digital sensor are converted uh, uh, which converts the, the, the camera the camera by which you actually take the image uh, it's nothing but a digital sensor it converts the image into digital signals and this small small digital signals forms pixel or we can call it as a picture elements or cells which make up the entire image okay so uh, uh, let us consider an rgb image so rgb image have a 256 color gradation of red green and blue uh, let's take a look at this video explanation now so that you get a, a deeper uh, understanding what i meant to say closely is just made okay A digital image when you look real closely is just made up of a bunch of pixels each of a single color. Those colors can then be represented by some numerical value. Which means like a square picture made up of a million pixels 1000 long each edge 
could be represented by a thousand by one thousand matrix where the entries are the color values of each pixel. Okay, so uh, now let's move further. So uh, now let's take a look at how computers interpret a digital image. Since computers understand only computer language, that is one uh, that is a language of ones and zeros. It will convert image in form of ones and zeros, and uh, it will do this by using uh, the uh, using matrices. So there are three main types of images: the black and white image, uh, then there is a grayscale image, and there is an RGB image. So let's see how they are converted into matrix format inside computer. Okay, so let's consider black and white image. So black and white images have only white and black colored pixel such that the white white pixel can have value one and black pixel can have value zero. So this pixels uh, this pixel value is then converted in matrix form and stored by the computer in its memory. So as you can see, this is a black and white image. Okay, so pure white pixels have value one. And the pure black pixel have value zero. Then these uh, values are then stored in form of a matrix format and then stored inside a computer's memory. Now let's do, take a look at second type that is a grayscale type. Uh, the grayscale images have white, black, and shades of gray. As you can see, there is white pixel, there is black pixel, as well as there are different shades of gray. So white pixel can have value 255, and uh, actually internally the computer converts this 255 in terms of zeros and ones form, but um, uh, for our understanding, we are giving some uh, 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 numeric values to the uh, uh, this uh, this uh, pixels right now for our better understanding. Uh, so uh, black black and since we, as you saw that black, white pixel can have value to fifty five. Similarly, black pixel can have value zero. And different shades of gray can uh, be given values from uh, one to two fifty four. So based on how light or dark the shade is, you can um, give the uh, pixel the values from one to two fifty four. Such that the darker shade, uh, such that the darker the shade gets, lesser the pixel value gets. Since as you know, as you know, the darker darkest shade is what black, right? So black is having the minimum value that is zero. So the darker the shade gets, the lesser the pixel value gets. So this is how this. Uh, Pixel values are then arranged in form of a matrix formation and then stored by the computer in its memory. Now let's take a look at the very interesting image type, third type, that is the RGB type. In RGB image, every pixel have uh, three values, that is R, G, and B values. R for red, G for green, and B for blue. B but uh, how can a pixel be given three values? And if it's so, then how computer assigns uh, or stores uh, these three values, okay? So now let's take a look at this. So uh, for this computer assigns three channels. So as you know, the, as we, we can see, we have this RGB image. So in order to store this image or to understand it, the computer uh, assigns three channels. Okay, that is the first channel is red channel. The second channel is the green channel and the third channel is the blue channel. So as you can see, to make uh, uh, to make this light blue shade, uh, as you can, th this particular, I'm talking about this particular pixel. That is, as you can see, this to make this light blue shade, uh, the pixels uh, will have RGB value as 100, uh, 220, and 230. 100 for red, uh, 220 for green, and 230 for blue. So, uh, uh, so 100 is noted in the red channel only. 220 is noted in the green channel only, and th uh, 230 is noted in the blue channel only. Okay, and once these channels are formed, then they are placed one behind another in a sandwich format to form a single but 3D matrix. And this 3D matrix is then stored inside computer's memory. So uh, once it is stored, and let's say computer wants to uh, read this particular pixel, that is uh, the pixel which is circled with white, right? And it want to see that what is the, uh, the pixel value of this particular pixel. So it will see from uh, it will take the read the values of this particular pixel um, uh, from the same location, but from all three channels. That is the red channel, green channel, and blue channel. So uh, the red channel is having a value 100, the green channel is having value 220, and blue is having 230. So then it will combine these three values, and then it will get that yeah this pixel is uh, making a shade called a light uh, shade which is similar to light blue just as you saw back okay so this is how a 3d uh, matrix is uh, formed by the computer and it is stored or read by the by uh, the computer from its memory so now let's take a look how matrices um, are used to perform operations on images so based on 
uh, this is the introduction part so based on this similar vector multiplication concept that we discussed earlier here also we'll take a kernel matrix and then we'll multiply this kernel matrix with a group of pixels on the image to get required outcome so what do i mean by this you'll get to know what i meant uh, when we discuss this two basic but most popular operations that can be performed on an image so let's see blur operation so here we'll first take a look at block uh, box blur effect so what we are doing is that we have this particular black and white image so and we are applying uh, doing a box blur effect on this so take a uh, so what will happen is that uh, we are here considering a simple black and white image actually just as i said this is a black and white image uh, which have pixel values only one or zero okay so now what computer will do it will take a kernel matrix where this kernel matrix is first multiplied with this red section over here then we get a new 3 by 3 matrix for this red section uh, as you know as, as this gets multiplied with this red section uh, uh, the uh, will you will get a new 3 by 3 matrix right uh, so um, uh, once this new 3 by 3 matrix is formed uh, the computer will first take an empty matrix for the image so the, uh, the once this multiplication is multiplication is done the computer will assign this um, empty matrix for the image uh, so uh, and form the new matrix which it and f this new matrix that you got after multiplication uh, the kernel uh, with red portion it will take the average of its elements and place it in the central pixel on the new L empty matrix which will represent the final image what do i mean by this uh, uh, what I meant to say is that when this particular 3 by 3 matrix is multiplied with the red section uh, You will get a new 3 by 3 matrix, right? Then the second step is that the computer will uh, Allocate a new empty matrix which will be um, going to represent the uh, new find or the outcome image, right? So once you get this new 3 by 3 matrix the average of all the elements of that new 3 by 3 matrix will be placed at the center central pixel over here so uh, let's see uh, the central pixel on this red region is this one right so when you get a new 3 by 3 matrix its average will be stored over here in the empty matrix over here so, uh, as you can see in the second image this is multiplied with this red section portion and the you you get the new uh, matrix and then the average of that is stored in the middle pixel and middle pixel is nothing but this that is the average came out to be as 0 0.89 so using similar process this entire uh, uh, this entire what, can, what you can say is that this uh, kernel is swept over the entire image to fill uh, all the required cells in the new matrix to get a block box blur image so when this kernel is swept over this entire image and its average values are noted by the computer and placed at appropriate positions on this new and empty matrix you get uh, this new empty matrix um, uh, after filling the some values you'll get this particular matrix as you can see here there are the values are now changed right the, you have 0 0.89 you have 78 point 78 uh, then 0 0.54 uh, 56 44 like that so based on this value what image you get um, after uh, uh, multiplying this kernel is this as you can see this is a blurred image but what type of blurred we operate uh, apply to it it's called as the box blur okay so uh, based on similar process we can also apply different uh, operations like gaussian blur operation then there is the sharpening operation then there is edge detection operation etc so now let's uh, see image compression techniques okay so the next operation is image uh, compression so this is a very this is actually a very complex process so i have taken just the basic concepts in order to explain in uh, layman terms but um, you can always google it right if you are keen and if you want to want a detailed explanation about it right so here uh, uh, so we can start now so based on the uh, scientific experiments it is found that uh, human eyes we humans are more sensitive to luminance and less sensitive to chrominance so uh, as we know that every image have lum some luminance and some chrominance right so based on the experiment is f it found out that human eye is less sensitive to luminance and um, uh, uh, no sorry uh, sorry my bad uh, it's more sensitive to luminance and less sensitive to chrominance what do i mean by this is that uh, when uh, if there is a very minute change in luminance right then our human eyes can easily detect it but if there is a minute change in chrominance then human eye cannot detect it so uh, based on this principle the computer will uh, first uh, uh, 
convert this rgb uh, any rgb image that you want to compress using dot jpg format the computer will first convert it from rgb type to y dot cb dot cr color model okay then one by one the cb and cr this cb and cr these are part of image which give chrominance to that image okay so as you know that human eye are less sensitive to this uh, uh, chrominance okay so pixel values um, this cb and dot cr pixel values are compressed or removed so that the image size can be reduced this is because we know human eye can't detect minus changes in chrominance hence there won't be much effect on quality and uh, removal of this pixel means nothing but again computer will use some matrix so that chrominance pixel values get compressed or removed so this is how dot jpg is used to compress the image now this is just i explained this in just uh, uh, layman terms but um, if you want um, uh, in a detailed explanation then you have to google it because right now if i ex keep on explaining in depth it will increase the size of this video so now here i am using a online software called as the matlab okay so th th here i am showing some image parts and some processes that i did on the matlab just to show you that how the rgb images and pixel information are stored in rgb images so as you can see here when i uh, when i took this image i st uh, uh, paste it on uh, i inserted it in matlab software the computer converted uh, this entire image uh, and its appropriate pixel values in form of a big matrix now thi this is a actual image so it can comprise of millions and millions of pixels so as you can see here it's it is converted in form of a matrix and every matrix have different pixel values or elements you can see uh, and uh, there is a pixel region uh, that is a, there is another window uh, which can show you that each pixel is having um, three values of r g and b so as you can see this pixel can take values 99 72 and 81 99 for red 72 for green and 81 for b and we know that in order to store rgb uh, image computer makes three channel right so in the first channel the 99 will be stored in the first channel only 72 will be stored in the green channel uh, only and 81 will be stored in the blue channel only but to show here the computer is reading value from each of this channel that is 99 72 and 81 and it is displaying us the three values and so we get this particular uh, shade that we require to see our image okay so this is the metal app visualization now this is so here we come to an end so this is how real life uh, mars images are processed using matrices to get images of required quality and type so this is the original image so you can do different operations like you can change the color intensities or luminance you can, or chrominance you can change or you can compress the image or you can you know enhance some uh, some particular image shade or you can uh, find the edge detection or all this process you can do the um, using matrices okay so this is what how matrices are used uh, in image processing techniques um, so thank you so much for watching this presentation i hope this ppt helped you understand why do we learn matrices and operations using matrices in engineering okay so thank you so much for watching this once again